going to show you how I made this piece. Hi, my name is Joey Bates. I am an artist, a paper sculptor, based in Sweden at the moment. I have a really hard time with change. Yeah, I think a lot of people do, but change is the only constant, as they say. I have been working in a very limited palette for a very long time. I've recently wanted to get a little more color into my life. So I started experimenting. And experimentation for me is actually kind of hard. As I said, I have a hard time with change. And I've started making larger flowers and I have started experimenting with color. In this video, you'll see how I made everything, where the color came in, and there will be a little bit of a surprise there during the beauty shots. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end of this video. Let's get to it. So I always start with a design. The drawing is the guide for everything and I stick to it kind of religiously, but there's lots of editing that happens as I go. Here you can see I've worked out the base structure, two-dimensional drawing, and these are all the sections that I will be building that turn into layers. Base. You can see that little square there, that's kind of the key. It's gonna end up locking everything together in the end. With this piece, I wanted to get more volume, so the structure is built out a bit more. And I've started using this process with panels where I score one side so I can bend them, like you see here. So I'm gluing this down. That was the main base, then this is the lower base. This is what's gonna be planted into the board that the piece will eventually rest in. You can see I still have that square for that key, which will be a peg that will lock everything together with glue in the end. Sometimes I think I might over-engineer things, but eh, I feel better safe than sorry. I also wanted to have plenty of contact with the glue and the structure here. As you saw with the design there, there's plenty of petals to be built. I use this layered paper process here. What I like to do is let the glue just dry out in the air and not press these things because uh, it gives every petal ends up being kind of wavy. I made these little hands here. Instead of stamens, I put hands to kind of express something often. <laughs> I was building this and realized how the layers were really stacking up and uh, things were getting chunky. So I had to change the base a little bit. And here I put a border and the flowers will glue up against. And then I also had to make a new level for the other side. Here I repeat my building methods late. You can see there's that square again, so everything lines up. A lot of glue. Maybe it's overkill. But <laughs> and then raising this platform here. With the piece, I, I wanted to get more depth. I've been doing a lot of really flat flowers over the years, and. Uh, my aim isn't to make exact replications of flowers, otherwise I'd be doing different flowers with different materials. I really want the paper to stand out. Also, I love the paper. Oh, paper. <laughs> I don't know, it's really strange to talk about, but I really enjoy how 
versatile it is and how flexible it is and how easy it is to get your hands on. I also love cutting paper. It's kind of one of those things where I'm just like, it's just really satisfying. And <laughs> sometimes I can't believe I found it. See, this one has a ramp, if you will, to hold the other. And these pieces are for the most interior part of the flower. It's a peony. I use the guide religiously. You can see here I've numbered things out. It helps keep everything in order. There you have it, this cluster petals. And they also have a square there for a key, so a peg can be dropped down there and everything can be melded together. Now it's time for some color. I decided to go pink with this one. Here we can see all of the petals building up. I decided to put a little bit of a fade, uh, go into a darker pink for each petal. I think this is one of my favorite parts of the process, gluing everything together. It's a lot of work. I don't know, it often feels like a fool's errand until this part where things really start to shape. You could start to see the final piece. For me, a lot of the art making is, is more the, the actual making than the finished product. I hope everybody gets joy out of the final product, but the journey. The journey is the best part. Now I'm mounting the piece, the board. And you can see the spot where this peg is going to go. The structural bit that'll keep everything together over time. Trying to get a good even distribution of that glue. Okay, all right. So the whole time I was building this, I was actually making two. I repeated all processes for a whole other piece and decided to do a completely different color. I've recently been thinking more about additions and different interpretations of each piece. So this one got the blue treatment. I was really intrigued with getting a good glow in the middle there. Point out the stamen hands. And the hands can be read in multiple ways. For me, I have a rather personal interpretation that kind of ties into the pink flower more than the blue one. I really do like the way in which this one came out. You made it! Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this build out. And both of these pieces are available for purchase through my studio. You can check out my work and get more information. Reach out to me directly 
via joeybates.com. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to show the camera your beautiful face. <laughs>